Hey everybody, Dax Neesian here. Thank you so much for watching all these videos. It's been really fun uh, just hanging out with you guys. Got a big update for you. Um, I am currently level 62 and I'm in Merciless. So I am just, just plowing through Cruel, uh, which was a lot of fun. Um, geared up and also uh, buffed out myself with the passive tree. Also, I am um, around almost 19,000 uh, DPS right now. So I've got uh, Stormcall, which is my main damage. Um, guy and 5,000 per use and 3.76 casts a second uh, so that is uh, I think been a lot of fun because my guy is pretty tanky uh, but also uh, not only is he tanky but I'm really just plowing through a lot of guys um, I've got the flame golem which is kind of like I'm using as a, a DPS boost I've got shock nova which has got a, a really nice uh, DPS as well 6806 uh, and whatever this thing is, Lightning Warp, which I'm using for the Labyrinth runs. Um, I finished the normal and cruel Labyrinth runs. I'll show you that in the in the passive tree in a minute. Uh, Conductivity, Flame Totem, which got really, really nice DPS. I use that just to kind of tank a little bit for me. Uh, and Orb of Storms. So um, I've been using that uh, like you guys recommended and hitting things. Now, what's really, really fun is when I did the normal labyrinth on my gloves i got word of reflection uh on these gloves so every time i'm hit it's casting a clone of me and excuse me and what happens is it's it's just dealing damage but it's also sucking up a lot of the damage from me so i go and i jump into a big crowd of people and they hit they hit the guy and they don't hit me and i just destroy them so uh, that's the character so far. On defense-wise, I've capped out my resists. Uh, again, I am in uh, Merciless. I was going to say Nightmare, uh, remembering from <laughs> Diablo days. Uh, but yeah, I'm in Merciless. Uh, everything's capped. Uh, I've been buffing up my armor a lot. Got 26% uh, reduction. Uh, I want to show you my gear here. So right now I'm currently level 62. Uh, I got this uh, Grim Thirst wand. Increased a lot of spell damage, lightning damage. And something else that I really want to recommend um, that I've seen a big update for for me in upping my DPS has been the adding lightning damage to the spells. Um, the critical strike chance is nice, the multiplier is nice too, but um, especially now, um, I'm not level you know 90 or anything, but um, adding 4 to 100 lightning damage uh, to my spells has really, really pumped up uh, the DPS and allowing me to um, really plow through these crowds. My second one here, this Rune Branch, is I did the same thing. So really focusing on Lightning, obviously, increased spell damage. Uh, each one of these is around 90 to 100% total increased spell damage, including Lightning damage, things like that. And this one I went for the Multiplier, uh, but also making sure I got that adds the Lightning damage to the spells. So the Storm Call itself is 202 to 376 Lightning damage. But with this guy adding, let's say, best case scenario, 100 and 100, you could see this is really adding up. Uh, on the side here, I've got uh, just a regular nice rare um, life and, and a couple resists. Uh, this chest I've really loved. I've used this, I think, since level 42 or 45 or whatever um, was the minimum one. And I really like the endurance charges when I take a critical strike um, because it's really helped me to increase that survivability uh, every time I've been getting hit. Uh, we show, I showed you these um, uh, these gloves. Here's my ring, nothing too fancy, just some life and some uh, resists. Also, just some life and resists. And I got this uh, locket here, which increases my crit chance that I really liked, and an energy shield. Um, here's my belt, again, just a normal one. This stuff was pretty cheap. Uh, some of it I found. Uh, some of it I also got on Po.Trade uh, for super, super cheap. Um, this is definitely an under 10 chaos build for sure. Um, and I got these boots. So when I went through the Cruel um, Labyrinth, I got an enchantment, so it adds 156 lightning damage if I haven't killed recently. I'm not 100% sure if that's going for just attacks or if it's adding to spells, but I'll take what I can get. I might uh, re-up that, uh, and then I got just you know regular things. I really like the Surgeons because um, I am having a crit build, so it, it's pretty much up most of the time. And on the second secondaries here, I'm just leveling up uh, Flame Bast, Increased AoE, and uh, Firestorm just to have something there. So let me show you the passive tree. Um, so I've got uh, pretty much this spec'd out uh, in the Inquisitor line. Elemental Damage and Critical Strike Multiplier. Righteous Providence, which is great. Um, I might put this in. 
I might put in, I mean, if I want to get a five link uh, with that new skill gem that uh, does not apply. I think it's elemental weakness or proliferation or I don't remember. But it's uh, it doesn't apply shock. So I'll pretty much always have an increased critical strike chance uh, against people. And then with my multiplier and everything, it should really well. Um, then the incredible damage, and then the really the the capstone of this whole build I was going for is this inevitable judgment. Um, this is saving me uh, lightning penetration gem, and it's also saving me um, from having to cast connectivity all the time. Uh, so pretty much, I'm going to be ignoring elemental resists uh, because my crit chance is is pretty high. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do instruments of virtue just yet. I like the 20% spell damage or the augury of penitence, but these things can wait. This is really just what I wanted to get. So let's go here. Um, this is a really, really nice uh, life and mana regen node, so I took that. Pretty much taking all the elemental and spell damages here, coming down, getting the life and sanctity, reducing my mana a little bit, um, increasing my elemental damage, spell damage, and the AoE damage. I'll probably flesh this out later. Um, just to complete it up, but right now that's th what I recommend just kind of getting a little bit buffs I came down here and got this nice jewel. Um, this is why I'm not running uh, Herald lightning is because I get 57% increased spell damage when no mana is reserved So I'm just gonna always take that I uh, came down here to shaper uh, which you guys recommended to me Thank you and flushed out to get this whole um, Scion life cluster, which is fantastic now up here um, You can get this one later my, some life. I went up here and got this life uh, but I really like this Annihilation and Spell Crit Chance. Increased Blast Radius here. Deep Wisdom's nice, and then a little bit of mana and life. I might later go get this uh, Arcane Focus, and I'm also going to probably come up here, probably take this Socket, and take this Lightning Damage boost up here. I mean, 20% increased Lightning Damage is just fantastic, but this could be used uh, later. Uh, up here, I'm coming around. I'm going to eventually flesh out the Life Cluster here. And then take this Doom cast, which is just insane. But for the uh, meantime, came down here and got this increased spell damage, uh, regen. I uh, went up here first uh, to get this elemental damage and focus, which is just um, really nice, 16% increased. And then trickery, got down some life here, and then went down here and took this uh, for almost another extra 50% damage boost. Uh, with Elemental Lightning. And then I came down here and took this Critical Strike Chance in Assassination. Assassination itself I highly recommend. 45% to the multiplier is just insane. Um, and it's really one of the reasons why I'm getting so much uh, damage on this thing. So let me show you also how I have this set up. Uh, so my main chain is just a 4 link, you know, nothing too expensive. I got Storm Call and I linked up the Spell Echo. I've been trying that compared to uh, Concentrated Effect. With Concentrated Effect it's really amazing because I will get actually um, 8,492, uh, but I've been really liking the increased um, increased AOE that I get uh, from that. Let me do a little math here and figure out what the DPS is um, with 8,492. So uh, let's see here. Okay, 8,492 and 2.36. So it does lower it a little bit. Before this, I was around 18,800 uh, DPS. So 8,492.47 times 2.36. So that's around 20,000, uh, actually it's 20,042 DPS. So uh, DPS is a little bit more, but I have really been enjoying um, having that bigger AOE and, and getting it spread out for a, about a 2K uh, hit on the DPS. Next thing I have is, again, added lightning damage, uh, which, so remember on the spell, on the wands here, I've got add 4 to 106, 8 to 111, and then 10 to 186 here. So it's really pushing the boundaries of, of storm call here and then i have less duration so that again gives me 20 percent more 27 percent more damage less skill duration and um, it's really helping me um, to see when these fast moving guys are coming uh and and be able to hit them so all in all it's been a really really fun build i don't really die um i do when i'm playing stupidly <laughs> but you know this isn't hardcore it's okay um, but it's been it's been a lot of fun. So I just want to give you guys an update. That's what's happening. Um, let me give you a quick playthrough of just what's ha what's here, and I'll show you just how the build runs. But um, it's a really really fun build, and I've really enjoyed um, just fleshing this thing out. So thank you again to everybody. Um, let's see how it works in action. You know, I also forgot to mention uh, the DPS boost that I get from the summoning the flame golem. I didn't put that in my calculations. Uh, but when you do that, then you're getting uh, another 19% increased damage. So 5016, 5142. So a little bit of boost, not bad. 
so here we go. So what I like to do is I like to come in here. And as you can see, it's just dominating these guys because we didn't have time to hit me. Put down one of these guys, put connectivity in. And most of the time, since I got uh, somebody here, uh, that word of reflection, they don't hit me or they'll hit my totem. Very So really, really been very fun build. I've uh, also been teaming up with some people and playing some parties. It's been fun because they'll be there and halfway across the stage or level, whatever, and I'm just destroying people. See, there's that big AoE. I might also do an increased AoE as well. As well. So see, there's a rare I just killed. It's it really feels good. Uh, I'm adding about 3k life. My ranger shield. I'm looking at my guard there. Um, uh, boss battles were, were actually pretty easy. Um, and yeah, it's been really fun. So there you go. Thank you guys. Uh, thank you again for all your tips and tricks. Just want to give you an update on where uh, Daxnesian is now. And I look forward to answering any questions you might have. If you have any questions about the build. Uh, helping anybody else out and uh, yeah, so thank you so much. Thanks for watching